This beautiful Ram of the West Truck Center is just one of the many improvements resulting from the Lancaster Auto Mall expansion. When we looked at improving the auto mall, our main goal was to focus on safety. So slowing speeds was a key feature of it, adding things like crosswalks and flashing lights that would allow people to cross between dealerships and move about the area very safely. Those were our priorities. And so we've installed bike lanes, we've narrowed the streets, and we've helped calm that traffic so that people, whether they're cyclists walking through the area or driving, they're all much safer today. There's a T intersection in the auto mall I'm sure most people are familiar with, and it's much easier to access where you're trying to go from that intersection. So upon meeting with the auto dealers there, we took a look at uh, some safety issues that they were having uh, with regards to pedestrian crossings, uh, people traveling at a higher rate of speed than what was posted, and things of that nature, as well as looking at the pavement condition. In doing so, we identified several enhancements that needed to take place. One, we resurfaced the entire roadway. Two, we came in and we road dieted the, the project, improved it to allow for frontage parking, bike lanes. We also put in uh, LED enhanced stop signs and additional crosswalks. In terms of uh, improvement of safety and quality of life, it did reduce speeds. That's one of the things that I know that was noted right off the bat. Uh, implementing the LED stop signs, we no longer have people doing the what we call the quote-unquote rolling California stop. They actually come to a complete stop. They look both ways at the crosswalks. We put in the continental crosswalks. So in terms of increasing quality of life, increasing safety, we definitely achieve that goal uh, with the pedestrians in mind, with the taxpayers in mind, and ultimately the dealer's customers. Not only have they drastically improved the safety and the navigability of the auto mall itself, but they've also vastly widened the array of vehicles to choose from that are there on offer. The private sector has made substantial investments in upgrading their showrooms and making the environment much more amenable to their customers. LA Car Guy has purchased the Subaru dealership as part of the Honda Lancaster deal, and they're there together on the same site. They just recently completed renovations on that dealership. They doubled the footprint, and consequently, they've also doubled the sales of Subarus here in the Antelope Valley. Honda, when I bought it, was doing well, so if we just maintain that and grow it sort of arithmetically, we're good. Subaru was uh, fledgling and just coming, and putting it in the new building, really giving it what it deserved was great. So we took it from 35 cars a month to 70, the first year now 70 to 100 the second year. So we're pleased. Been here two years now, and the community has welcomed us nicely. We're proud to give back. We're proud to take care of. We know that we are representing, and we take that all real seriously. I sell lots of cars to friends and referrals, and I take those very seriously, and I treat the community the same way. Toyota Lancaster is another example of a dealership that was purchased about a year ago by a new ownership group led by Jeff Yeager, Steve Cornelius, and Mark Feldman, and they've injected new life into the Toyota franchise here in Lancaster. They've been recognized as the number one dealership for growth year over year in the Los Angeles region, which encompasses most of Southern California. We took over in September 1st of 2017 and positive uh, results here in the Antelope Valley. We had uh, basically 100% increase in new car sales and used car sales, which made us one of the fastest growing uh, dealerships in the LA region. So why did Toyota Lancaster expand its dealership location and what was included in your expansion? We needed space. I mean, it's a large building and a large lot, but not as much space as we needed to have the inventory we needed to have the selection we wanted to provide so that's why we we purchased eight acres that currently is being used for vehicle storage and it allows us to have two or three hundred cars on the ground available for customers which is a yeah, it's key to our success our service business is continuing to grow and we've got the uh, remodel the service drive uh, in process and we'll have instead of two lanes uh, we'll have four lanes which will uh, increase our ability to uh, handle customers uh, efficiently, check in, and that's gonna be a, a big benefit when that gets done. It should be done here shortly. Ram of the West is the newest dealership in the Lancaster Auto Mall, and that just recently opened uh, in the late fall of last year. They've increased their sales by a substantial percentage, and most of those sales come from outside the Antelope Valley, meaning they're attracting new cash into the local economy to benefit the citizens who live here.
Our grandfather started in, in 1944 with H.W. Hunter Incorporated on Sierra Highway. And when our father took over, he had a vision for creating a, a state-of-the-art facility in the Auto Mall, and that was in 1997, and built the other location. And it was state-of-the-art at the time. We went from a facility where that could accommodate trucks, but was built for cars, to this one with a facility that was built specifically for trucks. It helps getting the trucks in and out fast. The way we designed this, you can come in from the outside, big spaces, and just get them in and out so the technicians aren't wasting their time moving cars around. Plus, you can just fit, uh, physically fit them in. Big upfitted trucks, uh, every, everything. Everybody seems to really love the store. Every time they come in here, they can't believe how nice it is, how well they can get through the service department. Uh, the improvements are dramatic, and people really appreciate it. Right now, we probably sell 70% of our trucks to people from the outlying areas. We get them all the way from Hawaii, Washington State, a lot of people from Southern California, and it's, it's been really good. When I was growing up here, uh, born and raised in Lancaster, I used to hear that, you know, if you're going to get a good deal in a vehicle, you need to, to travel outside the area, and I'm here to tell you and everyone who's listening, uh, that's not the case. We're not the small town anymore, and I'm speaking about all the dealerships that are here, very competitive, and that if you want a good deal and support the local community, give us a shot if you have before. Thank you if you haven't yet. We look forward to meeting you. It's easier for customers to access the dealerships, and if anyone is walking in transit between the dealerships, whether it's salespeople or clients, they are able to do that much more safely.